Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. This will be a reading from the Dust to Onyx tarot deck. I'm Kenyatta. The title of this reading is Narmar. Narmar. Meaning painful catfish, stinking catfish, harsh catfish, or fierce catfish. Rain beginning at a date estimated to fall in the range 3273 to 2987 BC. He was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh of the early dynastic period. He was the su successor to the proto-dynastic king Ka. Many scholars consider him the unifier of Egypt and founder of the first dynasty, and in turn, the first king of a unified Egypt. He is also prominently noticeable present. He also had a prominently noticeable presence in Canaan compared to his predecessors and su successors. A majority of Egyptologists believe that Narmar was the same person as Menes. Nithotep is thought to be his queen consort or his daughter. The first dynasty of ancient Egypt, dynasty one, covers the first series of Egyptian kings to rule over a unified Egypt. It immediately follows the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt, possibly by Narmar, and marks the beginning of the early dynastic period. Take my picture and throw it across the skies and unify you and I. I am the unifier of both blood and land, and I will resurrect all lands, all skies, for the blood is love of you and I, for I am the blood that stands the test of time, the test of time. I am love, I am unity, I am strength, I am you, and I love you.
All right, let's get into it. Here we have Judgment, Awakened, The Moon, Awakened, Ten of Coins, Awakened, Four of Coins, Awakened, The Sun. Awakened. Okay. Judgment. I'm hearing change, growth, transformation, freedom. You are now free. I am hearing to express yourself freely as you wish, as you choose. There is no one here stopping you in this manner, in this course, is what I'm hearing. Okay. I am uh, hearing you have blossomed like a butterfly. I feel as though you have um, unified here or become one in regards to your um, your masculine and feminine. I'm hearing uh, energies have come into place, have come into balance. Now, uh, there might have been, there might be, might have been a lot of people watching you, but I'm also hearing a lot on your side, okay? I feel like you've come through a lot. You've been thrown in a positive direction. Though it may not have felt like it, though it may not have seemed like it, okay? I do feel as though um, you might have felt weary at times. You might still feel weary, like I'm, I'm here, like I'm tired, okay? I've been through this a lot, this journey. It's done a lot to me. It's awakened me to myself. This is true. But it's been a lot of pain. It just hit me, unifier, Namar, unifier of upper and old, uh, lower Egypt, okay? Um, you have your masculine and feminine, it's like, like I said, I think I said, have been unified, have come into balance, okay? These energies, you are now one, I am hearing within yourself, okay? Grow in it, strong in it. You might be uh, a mysterious person, to some, maybe uh, secretive. Okay. This is this may be how you are viewed. I am understood. I am hearing of me, of myself, of my being. Okay. Across all worlds, all times. Throw my name to the skies, as was stated. Okay. Well, take my picture rather and throw it across the skies and unify you and I. Okay. I'm a unifier of both blood and land and I will resurrect all lands, all skies. Okay. I feel as though you have been resurrected. Okay. To yourself, within yourself, within your being. Okay. That's first in all I am hearing. All right. I do feel as though once again, the weariness I see is there. Okay, maybe from whatever you've had to endure on your journey, but I feel like you are doing fine. I feel like it has changed you, your outlook, okay, of course, on yourself, but on the world, okay, on yourself, how you see yourself, what you understand about yourself, things that may have been uh, held back from you, you, aspects of yourself that were mysterious to even you, okay, not knowing who you are or knowing your truth. Okay, but I've here I'm here like you have come into the, to the knowledge of that. Okay, the knowledge of your being. Okay, I feel as though you may have a strong presence. You may even be intimidating. Okay, to some. All right, I don't feel as though you have any intention on being intimidating to anyone. Okay, I feel as though you are at a place where in within yourself that you know your world and your realm, your journey, your being is yours. It's not something that you are necessarily trying to throw off on anyone. Okay, but I feel that because of where you've been, what you have gone through. Okay, your journey. Okay, the strength that is within you that lies within you it exudes outward. 
I feel as though you take life very seriously. You take yourself very seriously. I'm not saying that you don't have a sense of humor at all, okay? I feel as though you do, but I feel like you have an understanding of yourself that you are. I, I just heard I am the serious one, okay? This may be how uh, you are viewed and this may be how you view yourself. Okay? Like life is not a joke, it's not a game, et cetera, et cetera. You, th this here is has become abundance for you. I don't know what your financial situation is like. Okay, uh, I'm hearing a strong uh, foundation okay, in that regard. But once again, that I'm not saying that you are, you know, uh, financially rich. I feel you, you could be, but I feel like um, you're. Abund it's it's mat more a matter of just abundance here coming into this space the green here the butterfly the green here okay but more so now I'm not talking about money money sure is green but we look at the you know the growth of grass the trees this type of thing okay strong foundation tree okay the roots gives it a strong foundation to stand tall you know through all types of uh situations whether so on and so forth okay throughout the year years millennia this is your being and i feel as though and if you i feel uh, well let me see okay You may not be financially abundant, okay? In other words, you may not have a lot of money, okay? You might just, I'm hearing you're just making it financially, all right? But it's all, I feel as though because you have come into this state and place within yourself, within your being, the finances are going to come. The financial abundance, okay, will be yours, I feel like because you have become abundant in yourself, okay? You have realized the abundance within yourself, okay? And I, I, I feel as though this, the unification that is taking place, the journey that you have been on, the coming to the realization of yourself, knowing yourself. Uh, again, this thing about taking yourself seriously, taking your life seriously like it's not a joke, okay? I take who I am, okay, in seriousness. But... And you might be different. Uh, this in itself may, may make you different because there's this thing about mysteriousness here, okay, that you exude. Your energy, I feel like, is hidden. Not many can see you. Not many um, know you or understand you. I said not many, not all. Okay, There are others who do. I feel like there are others out there that may be just like you. I just heard winners, quote unquote. Okay, no offense. This is what I'm hearing. All right, you. Um, I feel honor and treasure who you are at this point in time. You might not have always. I'm here, but I definitely do now. Hold on to that. Hold on to who you are. There are some things that I feel like uh, maybe people, situations, circumstances, outlooks, various worldviews. Okay, that you may have that. Uh, you know, as they say, no longer serve you. You may have buried those things. Hey, I'm here. I don't want them anymore. But but those things that um, are meaningful to you, they mean something. They keep you going. They keep you moving forward. Okay. They keep you balanced. Okay. Strong, standing, standing tall and strong. Okay. Again, here within yourself. Okay. It's like, you, you know, you are a universe within yourself. You see that, you understand that, okay? Outside of the realms of the, uh, you know, what we've been told about as far as the who and what that we are, okay? And you shine bright. I am hearing, okay, bright as the sun, okay? There are people here, there are many people who admire you, your walk and your talk, okay? I'm here, don't worry about those who don't, Okay? But I, I I even feel like don't necessarily be fixated on those who do. Maybe I feel like that message has come through just in case you um I 
that message came through. I'm hearing so that you know that you have support. And I'm even here. These people, they're, they're, these people who do support you, they may never even say anything to you. Okay, let's continue. I'm here you shine bright as the sun. Queen Mother awakened. Two of staffs awakened. Five of staffs awakened. Three of staffs. Dormant. I'm hearing there is a positive energy that resides in you. There are some that they, it, it's not so much about they don't support you. It's just a matter of they don't understand you. Who are you? Who is that person? Okay, who is she? Who is he? Okay, why are they that way? What does that mean? Why do they walk that way, talk that way, look that way, smell that way? Okay, they they are questioning you, okay, and you're being, I don't mean questioning you in a way like, you know, to put you down or anything. You might have some of that going on as well, okay, but it's just like, um, Like you're an anomaly, okay? I feel like you are not what people expect you to be. But you need not be. I'm also hearing you need not be afraid, okay? So if you're walking in some kind of fear, there's something that is, that you know, that you're afraid of or whatever. Don't. Stop. Okay, remove that energy. And I'm also here to wipe the dust from your feet, okay? Like, you know, that scripture, like, uh, about if you were Jesus was telling this, the disciples, like, if they were to go into a town or whatever and to share the message, their message, okay, and the people didn't want them there, then, like, wipe the dust from your feet. Okay, keep going. To, do, to, to those that do here, to those that do understand, I don't know if you are a teacher or something like that, but even if you aren't, okay, those move, continue to move forward to, to those who um, are like mine. Like I said, there are others like you here, okay, but I'm hearing not a whole lot. Okay. But you will find them in the course of time, okay, as you continue to move forward, I'm hearing and spread your wings, I'm hearing speak joy, speak positive messages. Okay, to the world, to those around you. Okay, but don't lie. Okay, tell the truth. And what I mean is like, you know, speaking positive messages, you know, but don't speak a positive message that is a lie. I don't know. I'm hearing something like you are a great source or resource of protection. Not sure what that means. I do feel, though, that there are um, energies here that are watching you. I don't necessarily mean, um, could be people, but I mean um, like powerful people, maybe like powerful people or uh, maybe powerful energies in terms of um, maybe like your ancestors, deities, spirits, things that guard you, okay, that watch over you, protect you. It's like they're in a constant watching phase. They watch your steps, the steps that you take. Okay, I posted a song by this uh, a Christian singer from long ago, Amy Grant, Angels Watching Over Me. Every move I make, angels watching over me, every step I take, okay? But she was, she was talking about how um, these angels would watch over her. Okay, just in the song, okay, the lyrics. 
where she could step into danger, but it would be, you know, uh, the danger would be removed, okay, by the angels watching over and protecting her, okay, her not even knowing, kind of like I, I talked about a long time ago, Mr. Magoo, <laughs> okay, I mean, you know, Mr. Magoo, he could hardly see, okay, and he was always just missing, you know, some kind of dangerous situation, I'm not saying that you're miss you're always just missing some kind of dangerous situation. I'm just saying that that these energies here are in constant watch over you to protect you and provide I am hearing okay provision they make a prov make provisions for you so where you may feel like you know oh I don't have enough of this I don't have enough of that or how I'm gonna make it you may seem to always find yourself you know making it okay getting the money for that bill, getting the money for those groceries, getting the money, you know, for gas or whatever the case may be, your day-to-day, -day, you know, 3D life that you have to live, okay? I'm hearing it's hard, it's difficult, it's challenging, but you are making it through. They constantly provide for you, okay? That money thing, though, if you're concerned like, uh, about that, once again, that is being provided for you, Okay? That is coming on its way, okay? In your pockets, I'm hearing resources. But I also feel that there might be some um, powerful energies. Um, hold on, let me see. There are uh, powerful earthly energies that may be watching over you or just watching you, okay? That you don't know, that you are not aware of, but you will come into the awareness of them. Mm. personal power fresh outlook alliance initiative foresight okay personal power here once again okay in terms of coming into the knowledge of yourself hmm You may have had um, maybe people or uh, against you who have worked against you, who've tried to stop you from your growth, your development. Okay, here this knowledge of self coming, uh, to, who may have tried to stop you from coming into the knowledge of yourself. Okay, maybe to stop you um, from whatever kind of work it is you do. Okay, any if there was any assertiveness that was needed. Okay, may have tried to pull the reins in on that. But here, opposition. Okay. No need, I'm hearing, to worry any longer about this kind of opposition. Okay. This kind of opposition will continue to make itself known. Okay, in your her palace, okay, but in your life, all right, in your big, okay, they're going to keep coming, all right. Okay, this is uh, I'm hearing what they are assigned to do, they have been assigned to oppose you. Hmm, interesting. Oh, uh, wow, cosmic waves is what was shared with me, okay, those words, cosmic waves, they have been assigned, okay, to oppose you to stop you, to keep you from moving in a positive direction. Why here? Okay. So that you would continue to move forward. It pushes you. Now, I'm not saying this for everybody. Everybody's different. Okay. It pushes you. Okay. It causes creativity in you to blossom. Okay. You might be the type of person here, um, I'm here, I have to know who I am. Okay, so the uh, opposition that is sent and assigned to you to stop you from flowing and moving forward, it only helps to um, 
create you. Okay? All right. Like they're like co-creators here, okay? They're helping you, all right? And interestingly enough, okay, even though they have been assigned to do this, okay, they want to help you. This, I know it sounds crazy, this here, some of this opposition is actually the support that you have because I feel like you might be the type of person like you know how some people like they they're procrastinators. Okay, say they're in school. Okay, they're big procrastinators. They got a they know they got a term a thirty page term paper that has to do. Okay, they give you about three months to do it, but you might be the type of person that starts a week before that is is due. <laughs> okay, because you know you have to do it. You know you have to get it in, so it pushes you. Here. Now, your best work, I don't know, everybody's different. Some people, their best may, work may be done if they start, you know, three months ahead of time. Some people, their best work will be done when they start at the very last minute, okay? Because it pushes you. I've got to get this done, okay? I'm not, you're not the type to just give up and say, you know, uh, like I had someone say to me yesterday, a colleague say to me, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to quit. That's not an option. Okay, I'm not a quitter in other words. Okay, so for you, it may be a thing of it's not an option I, for me to not meet my deadline. And it's also not an option for me to not be it's like, say, the school paper example. Okay, to not meet my deadline and, and I mean, to meet my deadline, but just get a fat F. Hey, well, I got some points. I got it turned in. No, you may. I feel like you are the type of person that, you know, uh, if you are that kind of a procrastinator. Okay. It pushes you here to do your best work. Some people work their best at the last minute. Okay. That, this is what I'm saying here. This energy, this may, those that you may have, again, had some that have opposed you to stop you, et cetera, et cetera, but it pushed you. Okay. It pushes you. Okay. Even more into yourself, even more into your being. Okay. Even more into an understanding of yourself, who I am. They are there. Those things have been in place to support you. If everything was hunky-dory, hunky-dory, you may not do anything with it at all. Okay. You may not, it may not bring out the best in you at all. Okay. But once again, every person is different. Okay. So I feel like for you, this opposition that comes into your life is a force. A force, excuse me. Okay. And I feel like I just heard to be reckoned with. So you may have some kind of opposition that's really, you know, very, very challenging for you. Okay. But it is so that the challenge I'm hearing will be meet within you to execute. I'm hearing your greatness. Even if your greatness is simply for, you know, your being and the knowingness, quote unquote, of self. It causes you, in a sense, okay, to perform, okay? I don't mean perform and, you know, for people and all of that type of thing. No, within me, like I said, a paper, for example, I have to get this done. Performance. I've got to work, okay? I have to, you know, all of this, you know, uh, this opposition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, okay? I have to uh, move beyond that, understand that. What is that? Why is that? Okay. Who am I that, that I experience that? Here is the execution, the performance. We, it may seem like a burden here, this 10 of staffs, but this 10 of staffs card looks like she's dancing, right? It may seem like a burden. It may seem like a burden once again, but this burden causes you to perform. Okay. Hold on.
serpent. At their chest sits the symbol here of the Egyptian goddess Ma'at, representing truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice. She is a reminder to what? To get back to the basics here. The basics, what are the basics? Okay, the basics is knowledge of self. This thing that may seem like a burden, this opposition. No, okay. It is to push you to performance within self, that knowledge of self, back to the basics. The basics, once again, of self, okay, representing truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice, where? Within self, okay. She prevents prevented the universe from falling back into chaos by understanding and harmonizing all polarities, okay? We also must weigh our hearts so that we can find the proper balance to allow us to move past the burdens to what here? Success. Okay, here it is. The goddess Ma'at sitting right here at the chest. Okay. At this point, we can decide whether we need to find a new method to push forward or delegate responsibilities to others for the success of the whole. Okay, once again, this, what is this all about? Questioning self, getting an understanding of self, okay? Bringing yourself into truth, balance, harmony, order, law, morality, and justice within self, okay? Getting back to the basics, okay? Preventing you here, the opposition, believe it or not, preventing you from falling back into what? Chaos by understanding and harmony harmonizing all polar polarities within self, the unification here of the masculine and the feminine energies once again, okay? Giving you the strength that you need here, this infinite symbol here, you are an eternal being. Okay. Mama Gord, dormant. The more, dormant. Nine of staffs awakened okay so again you may uh deal with a lot of that type of thing all right um it's for your good it is for the betterment of you for the growth of you the understanding of you the becoming of you Uh, Ten of Blades, Awaken, Karmic Lessons, Silver Lining, Endings, Rebirth, The Worst is Over. I am not going to die. I am going home like a shooting star. There you are, universe within yourself. The universe in yourself, okay? Your universe, your being, your you, okay? This is by, that quote was by... Sir, Sojourner truth, all the, the things that you have dealt with, the hard journey, okay, the opposition, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have come to the realization or are coming to I, what that you are. I'm not, I'm not going to die. What I'm going home like a shooting star. Once again, coming the knowledge of self, these karmic lessons that you have learned, the silver lining here, uh, changing one's perspective. Okay, and perception of things, endings, and being reborn. Okay, yet here the worst is over. Mama Gord, uh, dormant, the more dormant, and nine of staffs awakened. You might hear my stomach growling. All right. Okay. Uh, part of this journey here is, okay. Mama Gord is the power of pure reflection and deep consciousness, the element of water in its pure, purest form. She is immensely intuitive, compassionate, and lo loving. She is also a force here, again, to be reckoned with. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Mama Gord here in this card, the face of Mama Gord is Missy Elliott with the eyes of Nikki Giovanni. The key, in quotes, to longevity has been to just be me, to be original and authentic, uh, Missy Elliott here, in quotes. Uh, in quotes, Nikki Giovanni, everyone understands that love love comes in different packages and is used in many different ways. You cannot love beyond your years, nor can you fail to love beneath them. In other words, I think you get the love you need when you open your heart, okay? Dormant, vain, gullible, enabling, moody, and deceptive. This may have been where you have been. 
Okay. This may have been part of this journey here that you want. You may have been vain or gullible. Okay. Enabling. Okay. Moody and deceptive. Okay. Part of this journey I am hearing was to awa awaken you to yourself, to your truth, okay? And I'm hearing that you are none of these things, okay? But these are things I am hearing that you played out, that you acted out in your life. I'm hearing because you didn't know any better, but now you do, all right? All right. Uh, the more, uh, black -a more, all right? This uh, picture here, okay? Dormant, rebellion, insensitivity, bully, fanaticism. Don't let the structures that you abide by lead to your downfall. There are laws beyond the ones you have established within yourself and the universe, spiritual laws that govern all, govern all. The more spreads this wisdom and knowledge through teaching and mentoring. Right? Maybe, like I said, you might be a... Did I say that? I think I might have said that. Somebody said you might be a teacher or a mentor of some sort. Okay, There may be paths to the same place, the infinite, and the more has learned which path best suits them. And those who choose to follow, the more has spent a lifetime learning about the wonders of the world. This is a devout person who is loyal to the higher to their higher belief systems that govern everyday life. The more is also a polymath who is well-versed in a variety of languages, scientists, and spiritual system, systems. It is the more who brings order to civilization, lest it wallows in the stench of its own filth. The more seeks to lift us out of our dark age into the light of new understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. Here, okay. You might have been, I'm hearing, okay, I'm asking, I'm tr get, trying to get an understanding, okay, in a space of rebellion, not caring about the needs or wants of others, insensitive, or more so, I feel like yourself, not knowing yourself, not understanding yourself, okay, what you needed, what you wanted, who you were, what you were about, okay, this path that you have uh, crossed, okay, all right, or are on, okay, led you to this place. Okay, of, of what we picked up on at the beginning of the read. Okay, knowledge of self. Okay, not knowing yourself. Okay, you didn't know who you were. Okay, I'm hearing you even walked in fear of the knowledge of knowing yourself. Okay, but something changed. Change that. I'm hearing pain, isolation. Um, what what is uh, one of my uh, ladies I work with say uh, adversity. Okay. Can be the best teacher here. Okay. You went through some very, I feel like, adverse situations. Okay. I'm hearing something about painful conclusions, misunderstandings, but again, all boiling back to um, not knowing yourself, not knowing who you were, okay. not knowing what you were about. Okay. I've, I'm even here wanting others to develop. To define you, hoping others, okay, would give you a definition of yourself. But you lost that, okay, or gave that up, got rid of that idea, that notion. I feel like only through pain, though. I'm hearing something about, once again, isolation, okay, not necessarily some circumstances, in other words, and situations brought you to that point, okay, and that realization, but also recollection of yourself. Okay. Nine of staffs, resistance, strength, determination, protection, territory. Okay. I feel like you may be in a place now where you um, have, again, understanding yourself, knowing yourself, coming even more into the knowledge of self. Okay. Will you protect that? I, they, I heard the words envy and greed. There is some envy um, surrounding this here, this knowledge that you have come into. I mean, they don't like it. They don't like whoever the they is. Okay, it could be anyone. Okay. Uh, if you've come to this, you may not even be in the same, surrounded by the same people that you were surrounded by. Okay, a whole different group, a whole different collective. Okay, I'm really feeling if anyone at all. You might not be in any groups or collectives or anything like that. Just You might just be just walking your own path. But you still, you know, you're still around people, you know, if you work a job and things like that. Okay, there's always some kind of community surrounding us. All right. Um, so I'm thinking this possibly could be people of your past. 
Okay. This thing here that came out earlier of them not understanding you. Okay. I'm here like, why did you change? Okay. I'm even here, not how did you grow, but why did you grow? I don't understand it. Okay. So there are some who don't like it. They don't understand it. Okay. They want you back to who you were and where you were um, because it's easier for them to understand you. You know, like the boxes we, we put ourselves in. I'm this age. I'm this color. I'm this gender. I'm, I, you know, I eat this particular diet. Okay. That way you, you categorized. Okay. So that, you know, I'm hearing what I heard was so that we can be dealt with. Okay. You're not to be dealt with. So I feel like there may be some quote unquote misunderstandings. Okay. Uh, I, I don't mean in, of the innocent sort. <laughs> okay. Some people choose not to. Okay. Uh, want to know you, not like who you, you know, I want to know that person. No, not in that regard. Want to understand where you are, you know, this place that you have come to. So for how, so on and so forth. They just want you back to where you were. It was easier knowledge here. They had knowledge of you then. The knowledge is gone now. I don't understand who, who you have become. Why have you become this? Why have you done this? Why have you changed? Even some, why have you grown? Why do you look different? Why do you talk different? Why do you smell different? Okay. Your being has become different to me. It's hard for me to place you now, to understand you, to walk with you. I'm even here for some to wreck you, hurt you, destroy you. I cannot because who are you? There's a scripture, something about guard, guard your heart in Psalms. Be on guard. Guard this knowing, this growing, this becoming. And walk in your space of truth is what I'm hearing. Okay, that's it. Thank you. I forgot. I asked why King Narmar, Pharaoh Narmar, because he is the unifier here. You have unified yourself. Hold on. And I'm just hearing it is time to unify. Come to that place of understanding within yourself. Now it is time to unify.